Hey, man. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Thank you. Feels good, I'm sure, as always. Of course. Of course. Always feels good to get that W. Um, talk to me a little bit about the finish because it looked, uh, I mean, we didn't have the, the sound on back here. Looked like he was protesting the finish a little bit, but it, but it seemed clear to us on the replay that, it, that he was out. Uh, but in, in, was he just kind of in the process of going down a little bit and then kind of diving at your, at your feet? And I mean, he was definitely he was in the process because he was, you could tell he was a little dazed. I'm not sure how, how much it is. That's not my job to try to speculate how much it, he's knocked out or not. It's just to keep hitting him until the ref tells me to stop. So, you know, that's, that's, all, I'm in, I'm, that's all I'm in there to do. Uh, and speaking of that, I mean, was that the game plan then? That you, you figured this is a guy I'm going to be able to put away on the feet? Uh, I feel like that with anybody. Yeah. I'm throwing hands with everybody. You were, uh, I mean, let's call it what it is. I mean, you were a massive favorite in the fight. So an outcome like that is, is what's expected of you by the quote unquote experts, right? I mean, do you look at that kind of stuff and do you feel any kind of pressure for, from things like that going in? What experts, though? Because right. if we're talking about yeah. the guys that rank us and stuff, it would be seeming kind of a little shady or a little weird. You know, people move up and down when they haven't even fought or haven't fought a ranked opponent. So it's it's kind of weird. You know, no, Steve didn't even fight, and all of a sudden he was ranked in front of me. And it, I just fought his last opponent, another guy who's not even in the company, you know, a step in, a replacement. So um, I think some of these rankings got to be looked at in how we, how we do things. Uh does that give you motivation, I guess, in, in fights like this when, when you have kind of a, a chip on your shoulder to be like, hey, man, I'm, I'm still maybe being overlooked by this person or that person? I mean, obviously, the odds makers aren't over overlooking you if you're minus 1250 or whatever. Right. Uh, no, I mean, I don't feel like I have a chip on my shoulder. I was, I was telling my coach and my friends, I said, I don't have to be upset to beat you up. I could do it with a smile on my face, and it's still going to be the same thing. So it doesn't matter to me. It's just a fight. Uh, you're getting things rolling again now. It, it seems like uh, do you have any kind of – feeling about how soon you'd want to get back in there and, and, and the kind of names you'd want to be in there with? Man, ASAP, as soon as possible, really. I mean, this is all I do. This is what I live for. So, I mean, whoever they want me to fight, I fight. I don't say no to anybody, so. And you, you're one of those guys who's not going to drop any specific names and try and move yourself up the ladder faster? I want the loser of the next fight here. The only two guys that ever beat me, that's who I want to fight. I don't care about anybody else, really, other than moving up and getting to the belt. Besides those two guys, I, don't, I, don't, I just want the belt. When you, when you look at things like wanting to get the belt, do you put a time frame on it in your head? Do you say, all right, I've got X number of wins in a row. I want to be able to fight for the title in 12 months, in 14 months, in 18 months? No, nah, that's not my job. My job is just to beat up whoever they put in front of me, and that'll take care of everything. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Hey, what's up, Tyrell? Obviously, Team Tempe. I'm curious, during that fight, did you hear any instruction from Coach Trevor and anybody, and did that help with that finish? Stay patient. You know, slow down. Last fight, I was a little overzealous, going for the knockout too fast and just focused on that a lot. So that was the main thing if in my fight this time. You could tell at the beginning, I was kind of just looking to, looking to see what he was going to do, see if he was going to come at me at all. And I was just being patient. You know, I wasn't going to rush it. I figured I was going to get the finish, so I wasn't in a rush. I'm curious, bringing that W back to downtown Phoenix, what does celebration look like, and will you be in training within the next week or so? Yeah, I'm not – this year for me, I'm not taking any time off. I think – um let the last couple of years, I started taking a little bit of time off, and it, it, it doesn't seem to work with me. So I'll, I'll probably take maybe a week and then get back right back in the gym and, and really start focusing on my ground game with jiu-jitsu. I think me, my, my coach really wants me to focus on jiu-jitsu and the clinch work, so just really start evolving my game a lot more. Congrats, champ. Thank you. So the first minute of the fight, you guys are kind of filling each other out. What was your thought process going into the fight? Uh, just be patient and uh, look for my shots. He was definitely trying to bait you in. And how did you uh, negate that? Uh, just be patient. You know, um, I think my last fight I was overzealous again, like I said, and um, it was just in a rush. You know, I was in a rush to finish it, and that's kind of what got me in trouble. So I, I wasn't in any rush. I got 15 minutes to beat you up, so I was going to use every minute if I needed to. So you were going for the knockout? That was the plan coming in? From the gate. Is that always the plan? Always. What's up, Tyrell? I ran into you backstage prior to the fight. I was just wondering, do you have any pre-fight rituals that you'd like to share? Uh, no, man. I think just that running around the cage right before the fight, getting my layer to land again, and just be, I'm happy to get in there. So, no, I don't really have, I'm not too uh, superstitious. So, no, I don't have any rituals or anything. Whatever you did before this one, it clearly worked. But, uh... 
you said you weren't in a rush to get that finish when you and you were you didn't want to uh, you know rush and be overzealous. But how confident were you when you landed that first shot that you were going to get the finish right then and there? Oh, I hit him hard. I mean, that three two was was clean. At least the two was the two. The three pushed him into it, and the two gave it to him so it was a uh, I felt good and that's like my little special right there so I like to if one if I can feel if I can hit you with that then I'm a, I got a lot more coming and he asked you it but you didn't speak too much on it how are we celebrating when we get back to downtown Phoenix what are we doing first chilling in with my dog I miss my boy also right now so that's man that's my man so that's really what I, I'm hoping to get back to and, and lay down with him and chill and can you give us a little insight uh, lastly of what Rakim said to you in the octagon after I wasn't knocked out. I mean, that's not my job to dictate if you're knocked out or not. You know, my job is to put you there. So if the ref says you to move or jump and do a jumping jack, you better move and do a jumping jack. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. We will now open up to the chat. Nathan. Hey, Tyrell. Um, great fight, excellent fight. I know uh, in the pre-fight press conference you were saying that uh, you're able to see things a bit better. How clear were things for you tonight? Uh, very clear. You know, I was just making sure I took my time. I didn't want to force anything, reach or anything. So I was just being patient. You know, like I said, I was going to use all 15 minutes if I needed to. So it wasn't a rush. I knew the knockout would come. I just needed to pick my, pick my shots. All right. And uh, you, you kind of stole my thunder. I was going to ask you a bit about also, um, you know, I know he celebrated a birthday. You said you're going to be celebrating uh, things with him. Um, so what, what does that look like, you uh, celebrating while also? Is that going to the pet store? Is it going to the dog park? What, what, what does that look like? Chilling at home in the bed, man, or playing some fetch. Just I'm low key, man. So I, I'm a real home guy, homebody guy. All I do is go to the gym and chill with my dog. So that's really all I need, just the comfort of my home. Next question from Kobe. Hi, Tyrell. Kobe from Pro Sports Podcasters. Again, how's it going, buddy? It's going good. How you doing? Good, man. Good. So today was easy for you. Is that fun or was that work? It's always fun. Always fun. I love my job. <laughs> yeah. Now, you got a friction for us between uh, Johnson and Bassett? Ah oh, man, uh, me and my coach was kind of going back and forth on this. I kind of, I kind of think um, whoever gets on top first is gonna have more success because the other guy will get tired faster. So I think whoever can impose their will and, and get on that top position is gonna win this fight. Okay, nice. And anything you worked on specifically since the loss to Basel? Staying patient. Picking my shots, um, just uh, staying relaxed, you know. I'm not always trying to look for a knockout. Work to the body, get to the legs, try to use everything. Thanks, man. Looking forward to your next one. Thank you. Last question from Ronald Smith. This is Ronald E. Smith. Ty Tyrell, you brought it before how you said you don't really want to take time off. You want to go back to the gym and go back to the grind of, of growing and learning. Because you, you said that that was something that it didn't work for you. Can you go deeper on that? Why did you decide that that was something you needed to change up? Uh, just because it's too much time away from the sport. You know, you start uh, just getting comfortable. And um, I feel like when I'm in the gym constantly working on my, my craft that I'm, I'm getting better and better every day. And you don't just, uh, you just keep growing. You know, that's the main thing is don't stop.